Hello my students, hello third grade, how are you today? I hope that you are going perfectly. Okay, and today uh, I just want to have a little, little recheck about what passive voice is. And I want to explain to you uh, through this video how to solve your page. Because I'm observing that you are facing some troubles in solving the pages of the book. So uh, I will use this space for uh, explaining to you how. Okay, so only to remember that passive voice is going to be emphasizing in the object and not in the subject. I mean, in passive voice, the subject or the author of the actions is not really important. The one that is really important is the object that is receiving the action, okay? So, let's remember that in passive voice, the first part will be the object, like yesterday the tacos, yes? <laughs> okay, exactly the same. So, uh, I want you to remember, we are going to use now another example, that is that someone uh, breaks the window, uh -huh. someone breaks the window. So remember that if I am, I don't know the author, like this is the case, no, I don't know who broke the window, I will use my passive voice. So I will say the window uh, is broken, is broken, that's it. Uh -huh. I am not saying by who because I don't know the author. Uh -huh. So or the window was broken, remember to respect the, the structure, or the window will be broken, or the window can be broken, or the window is being broken or the window was being broken or the window uh, have been broken and the last the window had been broken okay remember the structures if you don't remember if you didn't identify very well the structures that i am using i want you to go back to the video of yesterday and you remember the use of this okay remember we are using past participle and that is going to be one question in the pleno quiz okay what uh, tense is used in passive voice uh -huh. what tense uh, in the verb is used in passive voice and you have to answer past participle of course what is the purpose of passive voice to emphasize in the object uh -huh. when do we use passive voice when we don't know the author or the subject or the subject is not important okay so please uh, try to be solving your plano quiz as best as possible and um, so I can check what happened with the understanding, okay? Remember, this is an exam thing, it's coming in your exam, so I hope that you can have a, a achieve good grade now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't go because I will continue with the explanation of the page so you can solve it. And don't forget to enter to my own and read the book because you are answering things that are not part of the book and I have to load your grade, so please enter to my own first and later you solve the quiz of, of the book okay see you around have a beautiful day stay at home and ah and i want to tell you the videos that i received i loved your videos keep going don't never give up we can do it okay we can go through it i love you and see you tomorrow bye Okay, and here we have three options in three banners. Let's say passive voice is used, but the agent is unimportant. And you have to tell me in which sentence this is true, okay? So you are writing the number and agent is equal to subject, okay, for this exercise. Now, in this exercise, and here is important, you have to rewrite the sentences using passive voice. I will help you with the first. It says people will use super intelligent a l to eradicate war this is and poverty okay so it has to be super intelligent ai will be used to eradicate war this is and poverty okay now write a brief paragraph about your opinion about this situation about all okay that is an artificial intelligence remember and tell me your opinion that's it i want to know but using passive voice of course that's it see you